What is up, everybody? It's Will vs. Red today, and we're going to talk about the controversy with Baldur's Gate 3 and the Xbox version dropping a lot later than the PS5 and the PC version for this game. Now, Baldur's Gate, th Baldur's Gate is a series I have never had the chance of playing, but this is a big franchise that's been known mainly for the PC crowd, but it is coming to PS5 and PC um, Either this year or next year. I forgot what time period they said it was coming out. But this is coming out for PC and PS5 at a certain time period. Then the, the actual company said they were making a game later for Xbox because of some type of technical issue that's going on with the game. Um, so a lot of Sony fanboys have speculated. Well, this is an official statement. This is one of the statements that this guy has stated. The Xbox version of Baldur's Gate 3 has yet to been announced due to a technical issue with it, says Larian. That's the company who makes the game, the developers who make it, who makes it. We've been unable to get Splitzer and Co-op to work the same standard on both Xbox Series X and S, which is a requirement for us to ship. And so it's kind of vague on like, this. it just says they need to work more on the Xbox version of it. And so Sony fanboys ran with it as they always do in terms of some type of negative news about Xbox. And it has to be the Series S is holding back gaming. So it didn't take long for that narrative to be dropped already by these Sony guys. So there it is. It's the Series S requirement. Xbox should drop that focus on the Series X. Uh, now people are showing like, hey, the Series S can't be holding back gaming because you got games with like Red Dead Redemption 2 looking amazing on the system. Well, Baldur's Gate isn't like that. It doesn't look that uh, graphically demanding. So I don't know why this game have issues on Series S. Um... Series S needs to be optional for devs. If they can't get a game running well on it, they could better focus on Series X and PS5 versions. Uh, series man, what a Series S man? What have you wrought? So people are already blaming the Series S. What is like the the requirements for PC for this game? It's like a GTX 780. Now I don't know too much about PCs, but I know this is not demanding at all. Like I'm, I'm pretty sure even the previous Baldur Gates, the previous Baldur Gate games, they have that on Nintendo Switch as well, and it's like. If they can run on Switch, it can definitely run on Series S at these previous games. So, it's like, these people just blame the Series S, like, definitely the Series S is causing an issue. Series S was a mistake. It just sounds dumb. Then we had the most notorious Sony fanboy. This guy says, Barter Gate 3 says no exclusive deal between Sony and PS5. Reason why it's not released on Xbox is due to technical issues getting the game to run, likely due to Xbox Series S and what many devs have said about a holding back games and Microsoft forcing it. Wow. So he's pushing out some false BS. So much so that the dev, <laughs> this guy is the head developer for this game, and as he said, the statement does not say that. For clarification, the statement says that Baldur's Gate 3 is in development for Xbox systems, active development. So they're still working on this game. It's just going to release on PS5 and PC first. As me as an Xbox fan, I don't really care because I haven't played the series before, so I can't be super outraged about this. It's like, hey, if the game is good, I'll play it when they, when they make an Xbox uh, version of the game playable. I'm not in that I'm not in that big of a, a, a uproar about this because it's like I never played the series before. Before, So the series is that great. I'll get to it when they get around to making it. And that's that, but... You know, it's just funny how these guys got up completely pushed out of there. So much so that the actual developer, head developer, has debunked this nonsense. Because you see that, hey, y'all want some BS with this saying that Series S is holding it back when that's not the case. And then, this isn't even the bad part. Like, you see you know, a few of these Sony fanboys say that, hey, this is the Series S holding it back. They aren't even the worst comments. This is a comment that's even worse. Like, this guy right here. This guy with this Kratos avatar says this X-Bot is still in denial, lol. Referencing, he's referencing the head developer of this game. The person who's actually developing the game. This guy is calling an X-Bot, an Xbox fanboy. And it's like, really? What are we doing here? Why are you, why are you calling the developer an Xbox fanboy who's working on the game? Like... For a mission failed at this point. <laughs> like, just wrap it up at this point. Like, whoever liked this needs to get their head examined. Like, two people like this, like this dude's post. And it's like, why? He's calling a developer on, on the game, an Xbox fanboy. It's like, what? what who, who is this dumb? Like, okay. Bro, he's the dev. <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> 
Come on, dude. The actual developers and publishers that don't do console wars, they just make games. Horrible take. You're just too in far entrenched into this console war at this point where you're calling the developer a Xbox fanboy. Like, really? Dude, he's one of the devs for Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> Imagine calling the director or publisher of the game an X-Bot. Bro, go touch grass. Yeah. At first, I thought the comments about them saying the Xbox Series S sold by game was the worst comment so far, but this by far trumps it. Like, you literally call the developer of the game an Xbox fanboy. You call a dev an X-Bot? Are you okay? <laughs> What's the saying in the movie? Never go full dummy. <laughs> the nice way of saying it. The guy definitely went full dummy with this post right here. Bro is calling the director of the game an x Yeah. It's like we are in a weird timeline right now. I'll keep this short and sweet. You're weak. You're out of control. And you become an embarrassment to yourself and everybody around you. <laughs> you didn't realize the person you called an x is the director of publishing for the game. Yeah. It's like... I don't know what's going on with these guys at this point. Like, I don't know because they become too entrenched to this whole console or nonsense, or their brain just just becomes blue and jello at this point. Like, it's, like the logic ain't even making sense at this point. <laughs> Go ahead and delete this ASAP. You would think so. At least have some type of pride or whatever pride you got left and delete this but nope he keeps it up it's just like what is wrong with these guys <laughs> you legit gonna stay strong and call the developer of the game an xbox fanboy like they like what is going on this pony here is considered one of the smartest by the other ponies <laughs> the most intelligent pony telling the director for the game that he's wrong about it yes the guy working on the game is wrong by some random Sony fanboy. The IQ on display is so funny. Yeah. <laughs> so you've got a little B report form. The date of your birthness. <laughs> Choose from the following reasons why you are being a little B. <laughs> Dude, he is the director of publishing at Larian Studios. You ponies are just hilarious. How did I tell everyone do not know what you are talking about without saying it? This is cringy. This is just crazy at this point. I mean, you are just done at this point. You and Red Dragon Trolls just literally got exposed by people working on the freaking game. Yeah. You like you at this point, you the other guy getting caught up by the developer saying, hey, and then say what you're saying, stop lying. And then this guy calling the guy he called the same guy who called a Red Dragon. He called him Xbox fanboy. And he's he's working, he's legit working on the game. Like, this is just sad. <sighs> Sony fanboys are just something else at this point. <laughs> and it's just fascinating how the gaming media is like, hey, the Xbox guys are the most embarrassing. When you, they just don't see stuff like this where the developers literally had to call the guy for for lying and the other, and the, he's the other Sony fanboys calling the developer an Xbox fanboy. And you call Xbox gamers the most embarrassing? Like, how are you just oblivious to all this nonsense? <laughs> It's just fascinating, but I am going to conclude it right here. It's like, once again, so many guys take a big L, and this is just like the most biggest L I've ever seen. You literally calling a developer an Xbox fanboy. You aren't even a clown at that point. You aren't even the whole circus. You're just a whole clown convention at this point. Like, it needs to be something else that needs to be called for these guys who just say the most dumbest things on social media at this point. But I am going to conclude it right here. Definitely want to see your thoughts down below about this. Leave a like for like this video. And as always, thanks for watching and peace.